my juvenile rheumatoid arthritis is systemic, so it attacks my whole entire body, not just my joints. It attacks my digestive system, so I don't absorb nutrients, so I have to receive my nutrients through a tube. It attacks my nervous system and doesn't allow certain neurotransmitters into my brain. And then it attacks my spinal cord, so I am not able to be upright for too long or carry anything heavy. I can't go on in the pool <laughs> or really anything that you would consider normal. <laughs> I have to be flat a lot. These are an example of her maintenance meds that she takes every day. All sorts of different drugs from painkillers. She's on non-stop antibiotics, different drugs for cardiac conditions, digestive conditions, as well as her arthritis. So she's on, as I said, 23 different maintenance drugs. We keep a list. We're nervous of her coming off the chemotherapy, but being on the chemotherapy is just as dangerous. We're slowly frying her organs, and we know that. Her doctors have come up with some suggestions, but they're all very risky suggestions. They all require going into be hospitalized or the ICU. And that's where Sarah and I looked at each other about the decision of going the stem cell route. I thought, we have stem cells that are your own cells that we're putting back into you versus drugs that are basically poisoning you and killing you. We've done our research and the other stem cell options, A, aren't pure and don't have the ability to be able to put in millions and millions of stem cells. They have such small little quantities that it's not even worth bothering. And so... Um, you have to destroy your immune system first. Yes, to do this versus there's no harm being done to Sarah. It's just putting her own stem cells back in her body. Um, so that it can go to the places that it needs to to heal. My hopes are um, just, just at least one thing, not really any, any improvement. I used to have to go in at midnight at two in the morning and check Sarah. And my biggest thing was I was checking she was still breathing. And I have a good night's sleep now. <laughs> Very good night's sleep. Sarah's like the celebrity at the medical center. Yeah. They all want to talk to the girl that had stem cells. And they're all amazed. Most people think Sarah's grown taller. Yeah. And it's because either I, yeah, they haven't yeah. seen her upright, vertical, they've only seen her horizontal, or they haven't seen her, she was so hunched over in pain, they haven't seen her stand straight. One of my doctors, you know, we went and they'd heard through the grapevine that uh, I had had stem cells. Opened the door and was like, what did you do? <laughs> <laughs> they just kept saying. And you were sitting upright. And I was sitting upright. And, just, and you had the sparkle in your yeah, eye. I know. And you had colors and, and color I, in and your And I was cheeks. smiling and I had color. And just, they just kept asking, well, what are you on? I don't understand. And we're like, no, I had stem cells. One of the first things that um, the stem cells helped was my digestive system's working. I'm eating all of my meals during the day. I'm eating uh, everything, all basically every type of food, every kind of food that I want to eat. She's been continuous feed for so long. Sarah didn't know what hunger pains were. And I kept getting worried, like, oh no, there's something wrong with me. I have a headache, I don't feel well. Um, I'm getting dizzy, my heart's fluttering. <laughs> there's something seriously wrong with me, I think I'm dying. No, I'm just hungry. <laughs> My life was in my bed. And now I'm actually having a life and going out and about. My worst day now is better than my very best day of how it used to be. I always used to describe myself before as a shell of a human being. I didn't, I, I had lacked so much energy and I lacked so much life that I didn't feel like there was anything inside of me. I just felt like, just, well, I, and I looked like a walking skeleton. I just felt like there was just really nothing in me. And now I just, I feel like, you know, 
I, well, I have a personality and then I feel like, there's not a good way to say this, but there's me.